Okay, I'm trying to position this thing properly. That fucking camera. Hopefully everybody can see me on my camera here. Hello, this is Draven Nightshade on YouTube, of course you can know that. Hi everyone, Draven Nightshade here. Um, I hope you guys can see me on this camera. I'm going to be pissed off if you can't see me. But like I was trying to say, to the point of what this video is about. Um, this video I'm making today is about um, my belief in deity. Okay, hold on, let me get this out of the way. My view of deity has changed a lot since I first began my practice in the craft four and a half years ago. Um, so, I wanted to express it and how it's been changed since I first began. When I first began, I only believed that there was just goddess and God and nothing else. Um, but after much experience and with ritual and all that, um, I've discovered that, I don't know if I expressed my views on this on YouTube earlier before, but I don't really care. I'm expressing my views about now. <clears throat> Sorry, my fo voice keeps going in and out today. It's really hot, and I only have one fan, so my voice tends to go out when it's hot as hell. Um, okay, so my view of deity, there is the all, or the one, or Dryton, if I've not pronounced, it's mistaken is how it's pronounced, Dryton, and then, the or the all, created the goddess and the god, and... Then the goddess and god created us, and eventually as time began to evolve and grow, the goddess and god decided to start showing themselves as different personalities in different faces for the different cultures that existed, to make them comfortable working with the goddess and god, and to fill their very specific needs, such as Aphrodite is a goddess of love, and she is in the Greek pantheon, so the Greeks the goddess decided to show herself as a goddess of love, and the, her name was Aphrodite. Um, or in the Egyptian pantheon, the Egyptians needed a god of wisdom, so the god showed himself as Thoth, and so forth, and all that. So, ugh, it is it is like really freaking hot. I hate this weather so much. I can't wait till fall times here. Um, like I was trying to say. And as you can see from my altar, hold on, let me show you guys. This is my altar. The main part right here, like I said before, the goddess and god, they're faceless. That's why I drew them as. And then you have my deities over here Isis, Kali, Hecate, Thoth is not in here yet, and Nephius, and all that. Maybe they have Ho Tai over here. I work with many different deities, because I work with many different types of magic. I usually call upon um, Isis for healing, Kali Ma to help me destroy, well not really destroy, but get rid of things that are in my way. I don't need any more. Ho Tai for prosperity and happiness. Hecate for justice spells, um, protection spells, and really for also general witchcraft knowledge. I will call upon Thoth to help me with homework and studying and divination as well as Nephthys. I call upon Nephthys whenever I scry or I do tarot readings to help me with my intuition. So, yeah. So that's pretty much my view of deity. I don't know if you guys can see me in the camera or not. Um, yeah, just a general overview of what my view of deity is. Um, hold on, let me do it. Kittle. In one of my other vid next videos, I'm going to be talking about, like I said, pretty coming soon, and making a video about astrology. That video, I'm actually going to take a lot of time to make, because I want to make it, like, very special, because I love astrology. Um, what else? Um, fuck, I forgot what I was going to say. I'm also going to be making a video about how I cast my circle. Uh... I have one method that I'm using so far, but I'm actually learning a new method. I'm going to try my new method out and see if I like that one or not. And I'm going to show you guys how I cast my circle. And I'm going to be showing some devo devotional prayers and rituals I do every day. 
Um, well, I'm obviously not doing any rituals today because it's too freaking hot. Even lighting one candle makes this room get like 10 to 5 more degrees hotter, and I don't need that right now. Um, and then I have my allergies acting up really bad too. Like, ugh. Like, my throat is literally killing me right now. Drying up. My voice keeps drying up and whatnot. And hold on, this cough is bothering me. There we go. Because it was all raised up and messed up looking. Hold on, let me fix that. It's bothering me. There we go. I hate having OCD so freaking much. Um, I'm way off track here. Like, in more of my videos, I have a better recording device. I'm using my iPod instead of my phone, so I have more minutes in my videos. Which is why I talk a hell of a lot more in my videos. Um, like I said, next up, astrology video coming up. My favorite book, authors and books. Um, videos on how I do my circle casting. Videos on how I do my morning rituals, afternoon rituals, and all of that. Those videos I probably won't be showing until it starts to get a little colder outside. Because I don't light candles now. I just pray. Um... Then I will be showing videos on um, outside when it gets cooled down. I'm going to start going outside more and just showing um, outside in my city where I live and whatnot. Even though I already did a tour of Lorraine before, a while ago, in two different parts of a video. I'm still going to show the beach that I go to every day and whatnot. So, and, um... If anybody, I, I hate asking this a lot, but if anybody can please just tell me new ideas of what to show on YouTube, because I keep showing my altar, um, basic crap. And I'm also going to be making videos that are not witchcraft, um, and whatnot, so, and my first day of college is coming up in two days, and on my first day of college, I will be making a video before I go into the college, and I'll be showing the college and whatnot and telling everyone my experience on my first day of college. So, that's pretty much it. So, until next time, Mary Parr, and bless be. Okay, shut this thing on, shut it off, shut it off.